Alright, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a basic ambient occlusion effect for your renders. Uh, this is a very efficient method using uh, Maya's Hardware 2.0 uh, renderer on top of Mental Ray. It's uh, really easy to do, really efficient, and uh, yeah, so let's get started. So basically I've just got a quick object that I modeled really fast, uh, just a, about a minute or two uh, to do. and. Uh, this is just basically going to be our sample for uh, for this video. Uh, don't we wouldn't really know what you would call it, but anyway, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make an, a, a new material. I'm going to give it a uh, Lambert, and we're going to go into the Lambert settings, and we're just going to give it a color. Uh, I'm going to give it yellow, red, yeah, red color, and uh, this is this is. Yeah, it's going to be whatever. Uh, the next step, the first thing we do for creating the ambient occlusion is we go into our object, we select our channel box uh, layer editor, and we go into the render tab. And basically, we have this master layer, and we're going to duplicate it. I'm going to duplicate it and rename it to AO underscore layer. And we're going to set the image setting to multiply as well. Then we're going to right click again on our AO layer and we're going to select an override and we're going to create a new material override and we're going to make this also a Lambert. And this time in our attribute editor we're going to set the color to white and we're going to raise the ambient color to nearly full. Okay. Then we're going to go up to our, our, our up here next to our anti-aliasing and our motion blur and all our other settings uh, for the renderer and we're going to enable the ambient occlusion and as you can see that adds a the shadow effect in all the crevices and corners and all that sort of thing so that's the first job but what, before I do anything I'm going to go into uh, our mental ray and we're going to do a quick test render uh, with Metal Ray before uh, doing anything. I'm just going to create Physical Sun Sky to create light uh, really quick. And we're going to go to quality and that's fine. Legacy options, I'm going to enable a final gather, that's fine. And I'm going to do a quick render. <coughs> so as you can see, that's the light as it is naturally occurring. <coughs> okay. Then we're going to Go back into our channel editor, select our AO layer, enable the ambient occlusion, go to our settings, and in the AO layer, you can see that the AO layer is rendering with Mental Ray. We don't want that, we want it to be Hardware 2.0. So we're going to set it to Hardware 2.0 and we're going to create a layer override. Now, if we go back to our master layer and select Mental Ray, if we switch back to AO, our AO layer, it'll switch back to Hardware 2.0. Uh, and our master layer will switch back to mental ray. So keeping on mental ray, uh, we're just going to make sure everything's fine. We're going to set a quality to the standard uh, that I use. That's fine. Then in our AO layer, we're going to go to hardware 2.0, screen 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 case, screen space ambient occlusion. We're going to up the MI just a little bit to make it darker and more noticeable. 1.5 is enough. Uh, radius is 24. And to the filter radius, I'm going to set that to 32. And samples will stay, can stay at 16, just for this small object. If you're going to, if you're going to make a large set or stage or whatever, and I recommend using 32. But for a small object like this, 16 is enough. And that's really it. Uh, we can go ahead and switch back to our master layer now, and we can render. And this should. Overlay quite nicely now. Yep, there you go. It's overlaying it quite. It's overlaying it a bit much in this instance, but you can do some fine tweaking. It's because I over, uh, I I upped the uh, amount value in the screen space and the occlusion setting. It's because I set it to one point five. I would normally set it to about point nine, and uh, that should be should be grand. So yeah, I uh, hope you learned something from this. It's very easy, very efficient as well. It takes no longer than 
the re the mental array render time plus a couple of seconds for the hardware 2.0 render. It's very simple, very fast, very efficient. Uh, maybe not as accurate as a mental array ambient occlusion or an Arnold ambient occlusion material, but it certainly does get the job done. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you again. Peace out.